Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing whether or not Thailand has pressed the self, well, Thai immigration is pressing the quote unquote self destruct button with respect to specifically retirees, but just sort of in general, I guess. Uh, quoting directly from a recent comment posted to our channel, quote, the way to stop retired people living here is the way they are doing things now. They seem to be pressing the self-destruct button. I hope they change their thinking on this as it is a wonderful country to live in. So, interesting. Uh, and the, the person who, who made that comment actually left a lot of other information in that comment, but basically talking about you know, the way certain requirements run and yeah, look, since 2019 especially, especially specifically August 2019, but we can go back further, back into 2018 and 17. And I really think the watershed moment with retirement visas specifically, although I think you could probably look at it as an inflection point as well for immigration policy here in Thailand, was back in 2017 when it was announced that the income affidavit was coming to an end. And for those who are unaware, we did a number of videos at the time, these are affidavits for folks who are retired in Thailand where they could go down to, for example, the UK or the US Embassy and just basically get an, get an affidavit that they made out, notarized, confirming their own income or their own assets. And this was, this was accepted by Thai immigration as sufficient evidence for maintaining retirement status. Well, that fell by the wayside, and apparently there were some who did not actually have the financial resources to maintain retirement status. And thereafter, you did see kind of a drop off of folks in retirement status. And then cut to a year, roughly a year after, well, we went through sort of the big joke era where there was a real paradigm shift with respect to immigration enforcement activities here in Thailand. And then it all kind of, in my opinion, culminated with October 2019, where we saw the insurance requirements being brought online for certain retirement visas. And that, that was, again, a real, it, just across the board, a tightening, if you will, of all the rules associated with retirement visas. But also, we've seen tightening of rules with respect to basically all non-immigrant visas. I, I would say it's not as, quote unquote, easy to get a long-term, especially non-immigrant visa category here in Thailand at present, or it's not as easy as it once was. Now that said, it's not impossible. There is a straightforward way of dealing with it, but it's definitely not as relaxed as it used to be. Is it the self-destruct button? I don't think that's necessarily fair. I understand the hyperbole. I understand the sentiment. But I think at the end of the day, look, Thailand had a relaxed system. Arguably, it had a system that may have let in folks that from a policy level, they didn't want staying in Thailand long-term. They tightened up some rules and we have the system we have at the moment as a result of those policy changes.